All right, Joe. Welcome to Big Al's Eats. We're doing burgers tonight. I talked about it earlier. We've got some burgers, 50-50 uh, burgers. That's 50% uh, ground deer meat and 50% ground chuck. First thing we want to do, we got already got that kind of mixed together, and uh, we're going to put a little Johnny's on there. Can't do no kind of deer meat or anything without Johnny's. You've got to have Johnny's. Put a good bit of Johnny's on there. And what I've got here, several pats of butter, Land of Lakes butter. I cut it in little bitty square pieces. We're going to do this like we do the deer meat. You know, you marinate it in butter and Johnny's. So uh, I got little tiny cubes of butter here. I'm going to put that in with the meat and patty it out with the Johnny seasoning. Mix it all together. And that's how we're going to do this. It's going to be for some super moist burgers. And when you cook it like this, it tastes like ground up filet mignon or something. You know, you've got the butter in there for the moisture because the meat's very lean. Don't want to mix it too much. And you can see there we've got the little cubes of butter incorporated in there. And now what we'll do, we'll patty it all out. Get some wax paper, put it on our hamburger smasher, cover it over, and mash it baby down. It's so easy. So easy. Got the meat all balled up, ready to go. All you got to do is mash it down to the correct size. And you got a perfect burger. Butter Incorporated. We've got several burgers here to do. We've got to get this wound up. All we got to do now is get that big green egg lit. <laughs> Let it happen, Captain. So, anyway, there's your burgers. It's that easy. Uh, light the grill here in a second. Get them burgers going. We got French fries to do. And we're going to go through the process of twice fried uh, potato uh, French fries. It's going to be easy. You're going to love this. You got to try it at home. Remember now, this is Big Al's Eats. Go over there to that page and hit the follow button. I need some people following me. That way you see this foolishness when it comes up. You don't have to search for it. It's just there. Follow my page. Thank you. And we'll be back in a minute. And we're going to cook these burgers. All right. It's time to get these uh, french fries going. We're going to uh, do a twice fried french fry. We're going to grill par broil them for a couple minutes and then take them up and uh, let them cool down or whatever. Then we're going to actually cook them until they turn brown. We're going to want to boil up now and boil over, so we're just going to take it real easy and get these things going. Just going to par cook them a little bit, get them ready to do the finished cooking, and uh, make some real crispy and tender. A lot of people don't take the time to cook french fries like this, but these are freshly sliced, ready to go. And there you have it. They're cooking good. We'll let them go for about a minute and a half, two minutes, and uh, then we'll do another batch, and then we'll get ready to fry them. Got the big green egg lid, uh, getting ready to do these hamburgers, the 50-50 burgers. So uh, everything's on track, everything's doing good. We got all the side jobs done today. Been real busy. Uh, this is my second shirt. Done had a uh, shower already. Uh, been a busy day, been a hot day. So uh, now it's time to eat. So uh, let's get this thing going. 
and we'll be back and uh, finish up these fries in a little bit. All right, I believe these french fries are through being parboiled. Part of the process in the twice fried potatoes. So uh, we're going to take these up, let them drain a little bit, and uh, we're going to put the burgers on, get them to cook it, then we'll come back and finish these fries. All right, now it's burger time. Let's get these burgers on here. These are the 50-50 burgers. 50% deer, 50% sugar. And we actually got butter inside here. Cooking it just like the deer stir fry. And you can see the butter in there. That's going to be a juicy burger right there, guys. Right? Got the fries going. They're parboiled. We've got a pile of burgers here. I would have invited y'all over to eat, but I figured y'all probably out of town or something, you know. Ooh, we got a lot of burgers here to eat. But that's all right. I don't mind leftovers. Yes, sir. All right, those burgers are going. Let me throw this away. I'll come back. I got something I want to tell you. We got that done. Uh, went down this morning, went to Mike's Country Store to get this ground chub and uh, get some hamburger buns. And uh, I was back there looking at the ground chuck, you know, because we're going to do these 50-50 burgers. And uh, the head meat cutter come out, and uh, I must apologize, I'm not sure what his name is, but we have talked. We have talked several times, and we had a great conversation this morning. Mike's Country Store has got some of the best meat you can buy. You don't have to go to these big box stores to get great steaks, great burgers, or a can of pork and beans. Go to Mike's Country Store at one of his, I don't know, four or five locations. I shop at the one out here on Philema Road. I've known Mike and his mom. I went to school with Mike's dad, Rick. Went to high school with Rick. I've known these people forever, and they do it right. They're there to help. So uh, I'm talking to their, their main meat cutter or their senior meat cutter. And I'm going to go back down there and I'm going to find out this guy's name. He watches these videos and uh, I must apologize. You know, I forgot to introduce myself. But uh, he and I talked about the hot dogs that they make, these Boston Bud hot dogs. And they are great hot dogs. Uh, he kind of invited me to come back and we'd go to the store where they actually make the hot dogs to the original Mike's Country store on Philema Road, which is across the street from where it is now. And uh, he invited me to go in there and we'd go through the process and uh, I could bring the camera and we'd film how they make their Boston Butt hot dogs. Pure pork, ain't no fillers, ain't, yeah, hey, good hot dogs, y'all. Y'all go to any of those Mike's Country Store locations, get you some of them hot dogs. I guarantee you, you're gonna like it. So, uh, sometime in the next month or so, we're gonna put it together and uh, go down there and we're gonna, we gonna do some filming. I might have to get my, my cinema, 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 cinematographer. They call him Craig Bentley. He's from Gulf Shores, Alabama. He got one of them drones, y'all, and uh, he's taking it way up in there. We're going to do a commercial for Mike's Country Store, and it ain't going to cost him a dime. And we're going to put it on there. We're going to show y'all what Mike's Country Store can do. So, uh, anyway, we got the 50-50 burgers going. I appreciate talking to the meat cutter today, and I apologize again for not knowing your name. But I guarantee you, before tomorrow afternoon, I will know it. And uh, he and I actually talked about breakfast. I'm gonna invite him over for breakfast one morning. He said he loved brains and eggs, so does Big Al. We gonna have brains and egg for breakfast, and we might even throw a piece of sausage or two on the grill. So uh, anyway, just wanted to throw that out there Mike's, about Mike's Country Store. 
they doing business the way it ought to be done. They're going to take care of you, and their prices are fair. Y'all check them out. Any of those locations. Copper, Georgia, just opened a new one up over there. So, uh, anyway, let's get back to these burgers and uh, get ready to eat. We got fries still to, to finish up, and we'll be ready to go. Look at these burgers turn, y'all. It's time. It's time. Looking good, too. Hardy's and all that play, they talk about them thick burgers. Mr. Gentlemen, let me tell you something. They ain't got nothing no big LZ. We got the thick burgers right here in red bone. We got this thing going on, y'all. We got the thick burger. Yeehaw, y'all. Got a little fire going here. I had to call 911. But then again, I am 911. I'm tired. All right. Let's let these babies go a little while longer. We got three or four more minutes, and uh, we may turn them again. We'll see what happens anyway. Let's let these babies cook. Let's get these burgers turned. We're going to turn them one time. We're going to turn them again. They, they're getting real close now. We're going to have some good burgers tonight, y'all. Yes, sir. we got it going here now. I'm telling you, we got some burgers on this one. Don't be good, y'all. burger's so close, you can smell it. We're going to put some cheese on, and we're going to get ready to eat, y'all. Swiss 50-50 burger. There you have it. Cheese burger. I can't wait to dig into this stuff. French fries is next now. Let's take them up. They done, y'all. Got a lot of burgers on this big green egg. Check it out, y'all. Whisper. There we go. Now we're going to work on them fresh fried taters. Nice burgers right there. Now we finish the fries. They, they've been par cooked. It'll take just a couple minutes now, and uh, they'll be good to go. These fries are done. We'll put them up here, let them drain a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and put a little seasoning on. We've got a little uh, kosher salt. Sometimes I use Cajun seasoning. But tonight, let's salt it down. All right, here we go. Let's pour these up. Set that back in there. And we'll start some more. There's the ones that we parked up earlier. 
pour those in. Drop them in, let them go. All right, we're about to wind this thing up. We got these fries here going. We'll finish those up. They like about uh, 30, 45 seconds of another minute, whatever. But uh, I want to thank y'all for joining me today. We're down here at Mike's Country Store. Got what we needed to get this thing going. And uh, we got it all put together. We finna go inside. We gonna eat some of them 50-50 Swiss burgers. We've got the uh, fresh sliced french fries, uh, twice cooked. We ain't Chinese or nothing, but uh, this is how you do french fries, y'all. So uh, I know it ain't nice to, to speak with your mouth full. So uh, we're gonna let y'all go. And uh, we do this again later. Thank y'all for watching. Like, share, and don't forget to follow. Click on that follow button. Let me know you're there. Uh, I think a lot about all the folks that uh, watch me on this thing. So uh, if you're watching, let me know you're there. Follow the page and it'll come up on your site and you won't miss none of this food. So, uh, all right, till next weekend, bon appetit, Big Al's eat.